Hey class, this is Mr. Schmidt here for AP Physics, <clears throat> um, October 21st, uh, kind of getting ready for October 23rd. Um, we had a review we're going to look at here, and I also highly suggest you look at uh, Diana Cowern's uh, video if you haven't already seen that. Um, she's a, a, a MIT graduate with a physics degree and uh, has like 8 million uh, YouTube views. So uh, much better video content and physics explanation than I might be able to give. Um, but specifically what we're going to be talking about is uh, these questions. So if you want to open that up and follow along, I'm going to be working specifically on the paper and referring back to this, but you'll want to have this up uh, to see the questions themselves. We'll start with these first two um, and then we'll take a break and then look at back at the diver questions. Okay. All right, so here we are. We're going to be looking at the physics question about um, the pumpkin falling. And um, we can pretty much guarantee we're going to have a uh, uh, question like this where we have something we don't know the height yet, we know the velocity. Okay, <clears throat> it's going to make a trajectory here. And we want to know. Um, some distance, <clears throat> which is the classic question. Okay, um, so what do we do uh, with this information? Okay, um, we still need one more piece of information, which is in the question. In question one, they tell us time equals 1.5 seconds. Okay, in which case, everything in the y direction does not matter. We know velocity in the X. Time operates in all directions, okay? It is a scalar, it operates in all directions. So we know velocity in the X, we know time in the X. Nowhere in this question does it ask about Y. So um, we don't really know, you know, dy, acceleration in the Y, or velocity in the Y, none of that is mentioned. So we can just jump on ahead and we can either use this equation Okay, or um, we can kind of drive it down to uh, distance equals velocity times time. Okay, because there's no acceleration in the x, we know this is always going to be the same thing. Okay, so our vx equals 20 meters per second. Okay, in terms of how am I going to grade the test? So the first part is going to be multiple choice. Um, then I'm going to say, um, is there a uh, labeled diagram? Okay. Did you give me all the units? Did you give me at least one governing equation that will derive the answer? Okay. Um, three out of four points so far. 75%. You haven't even gotten to the answer yet. Okay. Um, but we are, in fact, going to get the answer here. Times 1.5 seconds, 30 meters equals distance in the x. Okay? So, right there, there would be your four point question. Okay? So, this becomes a good model on how we're going to find dx. Our last step is always going to boil down to this right here. Okay, so what we need to do is work backwards. Um, as questions get more and more complicated, we're gonna stack more up here, um, but the end should always approximate this, which is why I wanted to start with this question. Okay, so speaking of more complicated ones, if we go on to question number two, um, we'll see that it's the same setup, only they gave us one more number, okay? So we have this, Velocity still equals 20 meters per second. They're still asking about this. Only what's new this time is that equals 15 meters. Okay, and equally new is they do not give us time. 
Okay, so this one little switch is going to give us um, quite a um, bit of work here. Okay, so we know well, we're looking for distance. We know velocity. Okay, um, we are assuming acceleration in the x. Okay, if they don't say something like rockets or propellers or something like that, we're going to assume this. Okay, um, so we know dy. Let's keep the colors coming here. Um, let's see how green shows up here. All right, dy was 15 meters, vy initial um, is zero. Okay, and then, oops. Acceleration and the y equals 9.8 meters per second squared. I just looked at my bad handwriting and I made a D engine A. Okay, let's make sure we're keep, keeping those straight. Sorry about that. Okay, so these two are implied because unless I say otherwise, assume you're on Earth. Okay, um, and assume that there's no propellers or anything sneaky hidden in there. Okay. Um, and also, unless we say otherwise, we're not going to deal with air resistance. All right, so now we have our initial conditions. We know we're going to want to work backwards here. Okay, and we're going to want to find our dx. Okay, and that is going to be our last step. And so we're probably going to have to do just like we did the last time. Um, Sorry, that's what I get for talking and writing at the same time. Okay, um, so we're going to have our distance, and that's going to be our velocity in the x times time. Okay, so we have the velocity in the x, um, but we don't have is time. So we need to somehow work through that and solve for time. Okay. So we have a lot of variables going for us. So we could do this a number of different ways. Um, I always start with kind of the basic here. Okay, so this is all going to be Y's. And then we're going to plug these numbers in. So we know that it started at 15 meters. We know it's going to hit the ground. We know that it started with no initial velocity. We don't know time. Okay. Um, you know, one half. So it started 15 meters up and it was going accelerating downward. Okay, that is the biggest thing you have to keep track of is um, up is a positive, down is a negative. Um, you could say up is a negative, down is a positive, but these two are gonna have to be opposites um, to get everything to work out. All right, and then once again, um, we don't know time. All right, now there just should be some algebra happening. So once again, you have I got salt with many markers this week. It's great. Okay, we got plus one here. You get a plus one here. Get plus one there. Okay, so this is so once again you're grading. You already have three out of four points for your answer. We haven't even gotten down here yet. Okay, so we are going to have some algebra to get to this. Okay, but we do um, have most of the work done for us here. Okay, so zero equals 15 plus zero times t plus one half of 9.8. Uh, and t squared. Okay, so now I can subtract over my 15 to the other side. Okay, divide both sides by um, negative 4.9. 
that over that looks a lot like three. Okay, so I'm gonna get out a calculator here. Okay, so I'm gonna take the square root of both sides, 15 divided by 4.9, and that was, we'll call it that. Okay, um, and that was seconds. Okay, now we can use that. And we still have the same old, same old. Okay, so we're gonna take our answer here, times 20, and that looks a lot like 35 um, meters per second. Okay, so that would be your fourth point, four out of four. Okay, so once again, if you get stuck, just make sure you have a good drawing, start writing down anything you know, you have five choices for our kinematic equations. Pick one that you think might work um, and see where it goes.